Hey guys, so today I came to see my, my baby Amy to the cemetery. She passed away about a year ago. I missed her a lot. She's the reason why. She's the reason why I found God in my life and I have him now because I was so desperate when she passed away and I didn't know what to do and got to show me a better way. That's a little bit of my testimony, but basically what I wanted to tell you guys is how life is so fragile and how blessed we are to have life. As I was coming here, I was wondering if she can hear me, if she sees me, or if she's resting, if she's waiting for Jesus to come back. And what I mean is, like, what is she feeling? What is she? What is going through her mind? Or is she dreaming? What is going on? So, and to be honest, the scripture gives us a little bit of information that everybody's resting and that everybody's waiting for Jesus to come back with a shout, with a big shout. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I trust God and I love Him and I know He loved her even more than I did. And I want her to be okay. So how much more does He want her to be okay? And I think about my family and my friends and God loves them just as much. In fact, He loves them more. He loves them more than me. He died for them. I can barely die to myself and deny myself daily, but He did that for all of us. So my message for today is just get to know him, get to know God, get to know Yeshua, Jesus, and you'll see the true love and, and how amazing he is. When you when you see that in your life, the, the love, and you'll start appreciating life even more because you know you, you were made to be loved. So I don't want to take too much of your time, but I just want to bless you in his name, in the name of Yeshua, and I, I pray that he takes care of you and all your family. And that he manifests himself in your life in an amazing way that you can see his love and, and experience it and get to know him personally. Not just simply knowing about him, but knowing him personally that you can say, yes, I know him. I talk to him. I speak with him. He, he answers my prayers. I have a relationship. Yeshua said, those who know me but yet don't do my commandments, they don't know me and the truth is not in them. And they're liars. And in a way that's true. And the way he told me that, the way he revealed that to me is like, how can I, how can I not want to obey his commandment? How can I not just want to listen when he loved me so much? So when you love somebody so much that he, he loved you so much, you just want to make them happy. You want to do what they want you to do the right way. Yeah, and Yeshua said, if you love me, obey my commandment. So do we love him? You know, do we talk to him? Everybody asks us, well, have you accepted Jesus in your life? When somebody asks me, do you believe in Jesus? And I say, yeah, I believe in Jesus. I accepted in him. But did I actually say, Jesus, come into my life. I accept you. Did I so did I accept him in my life? Did I spoke with him? Did I say, you saved me? You, Yeshua, you came into my life and saved me and showed me love. You is because of you. So no matter what anybody tells you, have that relationship with him directly. You deserve and that's what he wants. So don't let anybody else tell you, yeah, if they tell you, you need to go to church, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this. No, it's like you need to know him. He's the one that saved us. Know Yeshua, know him. Family, I gotta go, but just remember to get to know your Savior. He's the one that died for you, he loves you, and he wants to get to know you. I love you all. Happy Sabbath, and stay blessed.